Welcome to Aussie Indian and uh, of course, as we said before, Sydney Dance Festival is bringing some of the famous dancers from India and uh, this is happening, the Sydney Dance Festival I'm talking about on the Easter weekend at Seymour Centre and uh, one of the famous dancers who have come here to perform for Sydney audience is Abhimanyu Lal. Abhimanyu, welcome to Aussie Indian. Thank you, thank you. Uh, of course, we talked to your wife, Vida, and uh, learnt a few things about Kathak. Uh, maybe you can tell us about your own background and your journey, uh, how you got here, got to the place where you are now. Very interesting uh, journey. Uh, my family is into this, and uh, in the beginning I was not at all interested. But later on, I saw one concert of uh, Pandit Durgalalji, who happens to my uncle. Mm -hmm and uh, a very great uh, Kathak exponent. So I was inspired by him. Then I got a little serious and uh, I learned from my guru, Srimadhi Gitanjali Lalji and uh, even my wife. And we are into this uh, just because of, of course, you need to have a good guru. She good. says you le she learned from you and you are saying you learned from her. How does that work? No, she learned from uh, so many uh, gurus, uh, Gopi Krishna Ji, and uh, uh, of course, uh, my father, she has learned from him also, and uh, Roshan Kumari ji, mm -hmm. and uh, so many uh, great gurus. But she taught me and she taught my wife. And in fact, uh, when uh, I got serious that, okay, I want to uh, get married to Vida, then my mother said, uh, come on, yeah, I'll bring some new face. <laughs> I know, <laughs> you know, so when uh, uh, she was six, right. uh, she was just joking. But uh, yes, of course, the whole family is into this. So, because of you can say the background of my my family, I'm I, I got a little serious mm -hmm. because uh, the guru to get a good guru, it, it's really difficult. So, I think because of the back, uh, background of my family, we are very serious and serving it uh, to the country, uh, to country. And I think Sydney was left. We had all, almost completed the globe, so very excited to be here also. Yes, yes, and we are excited to receive you, uh, and uh, we are uh, virtually can't wait to see your performance on the stage. Uh, but uh, this takes a lifetime of achievement, isn't it? The, the learning one art form like this and achieving the kind of levels that you have achieved. Yes, of course, because uh, you know, thirteen years, of course. My wife, as uh, she mentioned, that she has learned it uh, six, uh, 13 years and it's never ending. Believe me, when we go back, uh, there'll be a lot of things uh, still. Uh, if we discuss in the family, uh, we'll, we'll learn more right. every after, con uh, uh, after uh, every concert. Believe me, there are so many things to be learned mm -hmm. because we learn from uh, by our mistakes. So the, it's a continuous process. Yeah, we have like to learn it. It's a continuous process yes. of learning. Yeah. But yes. Yeah. It's a very serious art and uh, uh, we have to be very serious to learn this. At the same time, if you want to pursue this as a… As a lot of dedication. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, and uh, of course, you, I believe you are a very multi-talented person and you sing as well as you play percussion. So, yes. tell us a bit more about that. Uh, actually, uh, learning percussion is uh, part of our course. Okay. Yes. we. Yeah, like my wife also, she plays tabla. Okay. So we need to have a knowledge of uh, singing, tabla, pakhavaj. So that was part of this. But yes, uh, something new what which I did was like learn uh, western drums. Okay. It is because uh, every after a couple of seconds we change our patterns. Mm -hmm. So if I hire any uh, drummer, professional drummer, to fuse this with kathak, it's next to impossible because they normally play dick tuck tuck dick tuck and we are playing with the syllables like kata gina dhatunna kata gati gina dhatunna 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 ab these kind of uh, syllables cannot be played on drums unless and until you know it right so my guru somehow encouraged me mm -hmm. to go to a proper school and learn this so that we can do uh, fusion properly right so that uh, again credit goes to my guru of course of course uh, yeah, th this is the thing that actually I was trying to ask you that question. Uh, you prompted me. Fusion music is uh, uh, catching up in a big way in all over the world uh, because of, uh, you know, the various uh, art forms coming together. 
Yeah. Because of these kinds of visits, for example, you are visiting Australia, Europe and America and same with uh, Westerners visiting India and yes. performing there. So this fusion music, yeah. is that going to be some kind of a futuristic music uh, in the in coming years? Uh, see, it's very easy for us to combine and also it's saying that if you want to represent your country, then through culture only. Okay, so two culture can be uh, together only through culture like uh, Western and uh, Indian. So mix them, fuse them together. That helps a lot when we know that little uh, bit of that music mm. and of course we know a little Indian. So it was, that's easy and uh, I think there is nothing wrong in it. In fact, I'm enjoying the most because we recently we did Asian summit and uh, there were 23 countries involved into that and all the countries has got their own uh, artists yeah. and we all did together, mm -hmm. 150 artists together on the stage at uh, uh, the president house. That was amazingly uh, uh, wonderful. It just because we, like I'm in Sydney, would like to learn a little more about Sydney or music or yes, dance. Yes. So that that helps a lot to to bring two cultures together. Yes. Well, uh, the music fusion is one thing, but dance fusion is a different ball game, isn't it? If let's say uh, a ballet and uh, some other art form has to be staged on a single stage, uh, is that a possibility? Dance fusion at all? I think it's uh, uh, nothing is impossible. <laughs> uh, uh, music or dance, they are uh, the same. Yes, yes, yes. They complement each other. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, we did uh, 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 so many uh, composition fusion with dance. We, did, we have done flamenco and kathak. People say it's very okay. very close to that. Yes. And uh, we did uh, uh, Egyptian dance called uh, Tanura. We did Jugalbandi with them. We have done uh, uh, in, in Africa. We, okay. have, we have done a lot of fusion, right? So, we, of course, it's music possible, and possible. Yeah, it yeah. is it very much possible. Mm -hmm. But if you know uh, a person and uh, a country, and the little bit knowledge of uh, that country or music or culture, mm -hmm. so it becomes a little easy. Yes, uh, uh, and uh, there are a lot of uh, young people in Sydney, as mm -hmm. I was saying, who would love to. Uh, get some tips from you uh, in terms of Kathak and how to pursue and achieve what you have achieved, uh, come close to it at least, uh, what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, anything anybody want to do, just love it. Mm. Yes. If you do it, uh, things with love, nothing is impossible. And uh, especially the art we, we own, it simply comes with love, a lot of dedication and uh, mostly like Bollywood or if you talk things like that then I think the, uh, slowly uh, you get old slowly your okay. charm are gone and no one is going to ask yes. you know who's who okay. but in our art field more you mature more you are uh, praised mm -hmm. because you uh, in India we respect a lot to our elder people and uh, we learn a lot from, uh, by their experience so a tip is that they just love your art, anything you want to learn, whether it's uh, Indian or Western, anything, if you learn it by heart, and uh, especially I would like to say uh, for us being here in Sydney, I would like to thank uh, uh, Kalpanaji and Madhuram uh, Academy, mm -hmm. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, yes. through whom we could come here and uh, showcase our talent. Uh, I would really would like to Thank you so much, because not only uh, we are happy to be here, we have completed almost the globe. So this was missing in our life, okay. so we are quite uh, happy for this. And um, of course, India is famous for exporting all the culture and uh, religion to the outside world, and you have proved, and uh, by coming to Sydney, do you think that uh, this uh, the performance and the experience would be enriched in, in your own career? Yes, of course, because uh, <clears throat> you get to see uh, different place, different people. And especially uh, here, uh, it, it, this is something very exciting for us because everybody speaks English. Yes. <laughs> so it's really easy for us to express our, our feelings yes. towards art. 
uh, any uh, thing we are going to do would be really easy so that things is uh, um, uh, that is making us quite uh, happy abhimanyu thanks very much for talking to us and all the very best and we look forward to your performance thank you so much thank you